Hi guys, Peter and Kristen here. And today we're getting our hands dirty with some pouring acrylic art. <laughs> <laughs> acrylic pouring art! So for those of you who don't know, Kristen and I are in the middle of a cancer journey. Right now I have stage 4 cancer, but it is treatable. I just have to stay home a lot and with COVID happening as well, um, and my immune system, it's been a lot of time at home. It is a hard journey. The spiritual, the emotional, the mental impact, and as well as the physical impact, it is tough. And it's really ironic because every year Kristen and I pick a theme, and last year the theme was patience. This year was to find the joy in every situation. And it's really ironic because COVID hit in the spring, and now cancer has come into our home um, in the summer here and, and in the fall. And so we want to share a little bit of ways that we have found joy. And part of that is being able to visit you in, over video rather than in person. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so I'm going to do what they call the KISS method. So now is the real trick. <laughs> See if this even good. works. Okay. So it kisses because, in theory, you pour it at the same time. Make it kiss. Oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. I'm actually going to stop there. Because that's more than enough paint for that canvas. Okay, then then this is what I was talking about the tilting. You gotta work it around a little bit. Oh. Cool. Lost a bit of the blue, but I think the blue will come out with the bubbles. With the uh, the next part of the. So just quickly go over it. Pop all the bubbles. Like so. Oh, cool. All those bubbles just came out. And then as it dries, hopefully the bubbles get a little bit bigger. But. That looks pretty cool. So I'm going to try something. Yeah, that's as detailed as it gets right now. But I'm going to, and this is mostly black left in here, there'll be some green and some, some, um, some blue, and that's okay. It shouldn't affect it much at all. And this one too. Ooh, cool. Okay, so that's, that's what I wanted to do there. And then I want to do a I said blue streak. <laughs> I have this hose from a old air pump that never worked well, but the hose works well, so we're gonna use that. It might whistle. Fun. I'm pretend like that's cool. This muddied up a little bit. That's okay. We'll see how it turns out once I blow it. You can already dry. see the cells coming out. Mm -hmm. Wow. I guess I'll back off for that part. I got all the bubbles now that have been popped there and get the oh, cells yeah. going. Yeah. I really like how the, the cells and the lines, the sharp lines. Sharp lines came out. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a straight pour with just a bunch of colors. I'm gonna try and do some of this. Hmm? You're gonna start with that one? That cup? 
Yeah, I think because there's enough white at the bottom. Yeah. I'll do white in between. Okay. Too. Okay, and you said just a slow pour, right? Very slow in the center and high, high up. Just a tiny little stream. Letting Peter do the flame. So there's some pops, some bubbles. Those will expand a little bit. It's starting to be getting more purple and blue there. See how that dries. Okay. I'm gonna do lines this way. Oh, okay. This time. Okay, then you don't need to start with a club. Right. But I am gonna put white in between things. Okay, I go something. Makes me scared. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do any more. Remember what we've learned? What about that spot? Uh, just there. dab it with your finger a little bit. Yeah, that, there we go. Yeah, dabbing instead of blowing. You blow more, you mix up and muddy what it real bad. What about my center line there? It's very white. You can add more color and then just gently blow that. Um, or you can just leave it. It looks good. I like it. You like the big burst of white in the middle? Because mm -hmm, you got like these rays coming out. It looks yeah. good. And then we'll, we'll, we'll torch it and... Yeah. Okay, you do this. Oh, that scares me. Nope, doesn't do scare do? you. Just gently over top. Don't, don't touch the flame, just... Hey, you're good, good. Yeah, I think so. It popped everywhere. Look at all the popping here. Yeah. You guys see that? There's a pop. It's popped there. All the fine little bubbles there. So a whole whack lot of fine details there. This one turned out way better than the other one. Really like All the fine details. Sweet! 
So this is the first one. A lot of those cells opened up. Yeah, the cells have really come alive. This is this is like 10 minutes, 15 minutes after we poured it. Look at all those cells pop in there. That's really cool. This is our second one. It's quite dark there, but then it's got this really nice pinky purpley. It's, it's fairly light, probably harder to see on the camera, but it's really nice. And then this is the third one. This is Kristen's first one. So we used a little bit more muddy paint and it didn't quite turn out. Probably my fault. And then this is her, her last one. So we got lots of cool cells and lines. She did a really good job right here. I like the lines, the radiant lines coming out of the center. So we uh, used the leftover paint. This is one of the ones we got. But this is the one that Kristen made and it looks incredible. It's, it's got like this really cool, where is it? There. This really cool dot and all this. It's very, very light, but it's really beautiful. Look at that. And then all these dots, these white dots, they're white with, with more dots in the middle. And this section is probably one of my favorite with all the streaks in there. Look at that. Anyways, you can do the stuff with leftover paint.